Hello, welcome everyone to Monday. It's Monday, the week of Thanksgiving for us here in the United States. I'm Richie Krauthen, creator of FMTraining.tv, where we create great FileMaker training materials. So what do we do? We, we, we produce all sorts of live training. Um, and so uh, we do that right here. If you go to FMTraining.tv, you can see the live tab right here. It's today's broadcast and then about the next six days of material. We also have uh, individual courses. We really don't sell them individually. Uh, these are on-demand courses, kind of like YouTube videos, except it's a actual course. You watch it through FileMaker. Um, you could actually technically watch it through a browser, too, if you wanted to. But uh, for the most part, people watch it through FileMaker. We have a new video player. I'm going to send it out to everyone today on the list here. You're supposed to have it. Um, and so uh, that's how you support us. P make sure you uh, pick a bundle. If you're one of our moderators or people here that uh, contributes a lot of stuff, just let me know. We'll make sure we uh, give it to you for free. We do appreciate the hard work. If you want to help support the channel, we do appreciate that as well. So we have two bundles. One comes with FileMaker Pro 19 uh, for yourself for the year, a couple special version of our uh, CRM, FM starting point. And then as well as all the training. And then if all you want is just the videos by themselves, you can get that right there as well. So what we're going to try to do this week is it's Thanksgiving week, Monday, Tuesday. So let's talk about this week. So today is kind of like, a, let's talk about the level of difficulty today. So today is kind of an intermediate day. Uh, tomorrow is going to be more junior intermediate. So this week is decidedly not a Kyle week, not a TK week, not a week where, you know, you got Cam Bear or one of these hot shot developer types that are really kicking doing a lot of development uh, you're over here either between intermediate or senior or be maybe beyond senior uh, so tomorrow we're going to be interviewing it's more of a bunny tricksy kind of conversation but uh, we have a brand new file maker person that's using FileMaker three or four months they've been getting tutored as part of our coaching they're one of our new hires as a junior engineer and we gave them a fairly serious project they've been working on it making discoveries things like that so we're going to be kind of kind of interrogate them on live tv um and they kind of know the kind of questions I'm going to ask, but basically is, what did you learn? What did you think about this? And these are practical applications, like the one for the next two days is going to be about a manifest file. We're going to give everyone the file. Uh, it's about doing a manifest for like if you're doing a, a touring company, you have a manifest of people on the boat, on the limo, and the plane. It doesn't matter where it's at. It's kind of a manifest of people and cargo. Very basic. But it's based in FileMaker. It's designed for iOS access as well. Don't ask about WebDirect. We didn't test it. We don't know. Uh, it may or may not work with WebDirect. Some of you will whine and cry endlessly, but um, it is what it is. So that's tomorrow and Wednesday. Then Thursday and Friday are kind of open-ended. Uh, theoretically, we should be off uh, doing family stuff. Um, it depends if Nick is healthy or not. He can get him back. If not, then we'll just call it a, call it done for the week. So I know a lot of you don't have a holiday on Thursday, Friday this week, but in the United States, um, it's a pretty big holiday. Um, and then it'll be full blast all the way to Christmas. And then <clears throat> Apple and Claris and a lot of the companies shut down at least for a week. Claris and Apple, <coughs> excuse me, I think they shut down for two weeks. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone, uh, if you want to uh, help us send out a review, feel free to, uh, if you haven't done one of these before, we asked for this a while back, but if you haven't done one of these recently, ever done this, go to https colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly dot com forward slash RCC review and leave us a review about the live training or whatever about RCC that you like or don't like or whatever. I mean, obviously, I'd rather it be nice than bad, but more reviews is good, right? If you think Nick is just a worthless piece of crap, then let us know about that as well. And then, of course, we got George from Mexico City. So a lot of people showing up. Matt from Miami, everyone, a lot of people here on YouTube. So that's great. All right. So, Nick, are you ready to go on this conversation? Are you yeah, ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay. And, um... I'm going to uh, share my screen for now, uh, and uh, I'm going to show. We're going to go and move yeah, your move thing. Move this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, so today um, we are going to talk about uh, some functions um, that are used and uh, underused by many people um, because they are a little bit. Um, they are every like like I say often, you know. When we when we start talking about something that is historical, like it's there since forever, uh, in FileMaker, uh, those function has been invented for one purpose, and then they got um, used for other thing that wasn't for uh, that was unforeseen by the people who invented those those function, right? So, uh, because from FileMaker 2.0, you agree with me that FileMaker evolved a little bit, right? So. Uh, and so now we use those functions for all the things that was intended for. 
And when that happens, you can't even rely on, on the help, for example, because the help is not going to give you any indication. The help is going to do, okay, you have a hammer and you can, uh, you know, when you have, a, you have a, a nail and then you can put a nail in the, in the, you know, in, in the wall. That's what you can do. Uh, yeah, that was the intention of the hammer. But now with the hammer, I can kill somebody and I can uh, destroy a car or, you know, I can shatter a window. You know, I can do many things with the hammer. So um, it's not just put a nail in the, in the wall. So this is exactly what we are going to talk about today. And, uh, uh, and so we are going to talk about the left, all the left function. So what left, middle, and right function. So what are we talking about? Okay. So we are talking about those functions here. No, the left, you have left, left value, left words. You have middle, middle, middle value, middle words. And you have right, right value, right, right value, value uh, right words. So let's, so you understand you have two, uh, you have three categories and you have, and you have three subcategories for each category. So it's nine stuff. But we are going to focus only on two today. And I'm going to, uh, like I said uh, in, the, in the introduction, I want to over, overfly, fly over some of them and not getting too much there. So let's start with the beginning. Why, so why we talk about left, middle, and right, and, and, uh, and right, okay. Let's say uh, today is Monday and my name is Nick. So let's say I have this sentence, okay? So why we say left and right is because we talk, we, we, we write from the left to the right, right? That's how we write, we write. In Arabic, those left function and right function are upside down because they they're write from the right to the left. But for us, for most of the language, the Latin language, we, write, we, we use those uh, left to right, you know? Okay. So let's take this sentence and let's say I want to use the left function, for example. Left function that the text I want to, and I want the free first character of this. This is Todd, free first character, T-O-D. If I want the 10 character, this is, a, this is what he gets. I take from the left, I'm taking the 10 first characters, okay? Including, yes, including spaces, okay? So space is counted. As for uh, you know um, the carry return, okay, okay. So, so let's say I have this, okay. So uh, now I want the middle. So what the middle is? So you understand the left is start from the left and count as many characters from the left until the end, okay. So if I put two thousand here, sorry, if I put two thousand here, it takes everything. You know, because I'm more, you know, I have less than 2,000 characters, you know. If I put 10, it, it limits. Okay, so you got that. So now I want to talk about middle. So what middle do? So middle, you have, when you say middle, you have two, you have two things to, to say. You want the text, then where you start, and then the number of characters. Let's say, for example, here, so let's let's keep that as a or just for the demonstration. I have my text here. I want to start from the character number ten, for example, and I want four characters. So that is mond, M O N D, because I said I want to start from the tenth character. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and it started from ten. Count four. One, two, three, and four. So that is mond. Yes, he counted the character, and he start with the character. So you see, he counted until the M, not before the M. He counted the M. The M is included when he counts, and when he starts, it's included as well. I count until the tenth, and I start from the tenth. Right. So uh, this can be tricky sometimes. Okay. So that's the middle one. So now I want to talk about the left one, the right one, sorry, the right. So what the right do, okay? So the right, I don't have, it's like the left, you know, the left. So let's put this like this, okay? Let's, let's make it logical, okay? 
The left, I have the text and the number of character. The middle, I have the text where I'm starting and where I'm landing because it's middle. It's not left, it's not right, it's middle. So I start from here and I want five characters, for example. Okay. And the right is exactly doing the, op the opposite of left. It starts from, start from the right and it counts four characters. So that Nick, you know, or, you know, 10 characters. And that me is Nick. So it starts from here. Okay. So the right is the opposite of left. So, so far, you understand now why why uh, uh, Claris slash Farmaker slash Claris 2.0, why they, they call that left, middle, and right M makes sense uh, in a sentence because it's, uh, it's flat. It's flat, right? And we start from left to right because this is how we write. We, we write. Uh, so, so far, no, I don't think that's question now. Okay. So. No question so far. Yeah, so far, yeah, because so far it makes sense. So now we have another another kind of we have the left word, and you can uh, you, I think you 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 I think you guessed what left left word is going to do, right? There's, I mean, it makes sense, you know. If I said left word here, and I said I want the two first word today is first word, second word. What is a word? For FileMaker. Okay, stop. That's a. I need to focus everyone on this topic. What is the word for FileMaker? This is a recurring test question on the certification. I don't know if it's on the new test or not. But I suspect it will be. But they will throw this in that you have to know this to do all the other stuff you're trying to do. But you need to know what constitutes a word. And it's a little squishy. So what is a word, Nick? So what the word is anything between our uh, space or between our what's the name our comma or between uh, you know semicolon right so uh, this is a word so everything that separates so two, what, what about a dash let's go cover them all because I think this yeah, one's a dash a, that's two uh, word now go do that go back and do a flat like a minus sign uh, yeah minus uh, uh, okay, that is... minus underscores equal Plus. No, 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 no. Stop. So you're going too damn fast. So all the symbols are are, are are considered a space, a dash. Put a dash. Yeah, put put the dash back there. Yeah, but dash so, minus the center. Yeah, so that's just, so that's that's definitely a space then. It considers that the, the difference yeah. between the words. Yes. So what, okay, so I don't know. Somewhere they had threaded it in, so it was like not as obvious as it should be. But I thought, under, I thought, I thought underscore was not. Uh, go back to underscore. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. A Otherwise, we would have take Monday. You know, no, I we would have done this. Right? What what symbol? Can, do an option space for fun. See if you can do an option space. No. Ah, there you go. So an option space is not a space. No, it's a yeah, it's because it's an unbreakable space, which makes sense. Well, most people, don't, I, I bet half the people here don't know about this. So why don't we yeah, just okay. cover this real quick? So there, are, yeah, is, so a, a space is not, a space is not a space. What is it? When is a dog not a dog? Tell us when a dog is not a dog. What is a dog? So go. I don't understand the question. Sorry. The, the question is: Is when is a space not a space? Because you could look at it and clearly, option option space is not a space, and we have no way in Farmaker to see it. To see it, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so we have no way. What we can do, and that is a good test for me, uh, what code this returns? Code, quote, yeah, what is what is the code? All right, all right stop. Oh, what damn it. Okay, we're going to have a little test. We're going to play a game now, right? Yeah. Kyle cannot answer the question, neither can can uh, neither can uh, TK55678. So let's do, what is a space going to be? Now, I don't want you guys cheating. If you know, put the number in. Okay, Nick, you have to stop. They have to answer the question before it's like playing Jeopardy and you gave them the answer before that you asked the question, right? Yeah. So let's try a return, but don't do it yet. A return key with the return. I Kyle, Kyle, not you. Not Kyle. I know Kyle knows it. Kyle, shut up. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's fine. But I don't want Kyle to answer the question because I know Kyle knows it. So what's a return? Anyone? Quickly. 13, okay, yes. Now, uh, what about the enter, is the return and the enter key on your keyboard the same thing? Yes or no? no? no I, okay, Nick, you're not the audience. Okay, I swear, okay, to, yes. I swear I to God, I'm going to beat you myself. with a stick. I'm going to beat you with a stick. I mute myself. 
Okay. All right. So let's try the enter key. What's the ASCII going to be for the enter key, everyone? You tell me what the number is. Don't cheat. If you know it, you know it. Is it like 11 or something? Try it. Nick. Give it a return. Enter. It put an enter in there for me. 30. Was it? Whoop. You just ate it. It looked like a 32. What'd you do? Uh, okay. You have to uh, go ahead and remute yourself again. Yeah, it's it's hard to uh, carry return. It's hard to get. Uh, oh, that's right. You know, it's it's hard to. Uh, okay, I have this one. Okay. You know, it's that for team, but and, the, and that's the same as a return return. So yeah, that, that's a, that's a carry return. Yes. Uh, 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 enter the enter is ten. Is ten. Okay, I thought it was yeah. eleven. Tab. I swear, tab. Kyle, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in timeout. You do that again. Kyle keeps cheating and telling everyone that he knows the answer. I know Kyle knows. Everyone, I'm going to stipulate officially that Kyle knows all the answers to this along with TK. So we're playing a game for the people who don't know. All right. So just for fun, if you start with a, a little a, do a little a in there for me, Nick. Now, that's 97. What is a big A, anyone? Will it be 97 or will it be something else? TK, are you around? Okay. If you're around... Yeah, TK, yeah. Feel free to stand by to put Kyle on timeout. You put him on hot standby and timeout. No, you're fine. I'm just going to have to – we're going to have to moderate Kyle here in a second. So the little A, a big A, go ahead and give us the other A, Nick. This is kind of important so people understand this. They'll, they, they, they're, you need to move your your cursor right there, Nick, if you move your – yeah, there you go. So uh, – oh, that's what I'm saying. You're typing in there. Yeah, I got it. So the issue is that the little A's, big A's are different characters. Even though FileMaker in a search – We'll frequently treat a little a as a big A. That's because it's doing you a favor. Technically, in the world of programming, they're very different. Yeah, because he he, he doesn't get the code. He takes the the characters on the the on the the ASCII table. He don't, yeah, it, it's a favor without to be a favor. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, sometimes it's not. So when you want to uh, when you want to have code like this, and you want to do this, you have this right. Mm. So, uh, so I have a, a function uh, uh, here. I have a custom function. I don't remember the name uh, where I get the codes, um, word codes. Yeah. So uh, I have a function that do this word count, uh, word codes, and you say are uh, um, a a b b like this mm -hmm. and. You want to start from the position one. So you have this. So I'm telling you which one it is. Mm. So for example, if you want to know, and if you go, if you go to FM Launchpad, right? Mm -hmm. If you go to FM Launchpad, uh, which everybody should have, um, because I'm doing the demonstration on this there. Okay. So um, if you go there, that's a function. Crap. Um, you know, I need to to go the because I, you know, my my window is too big, it's too small, so I need oh, to. Oh, I'm that. sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to uh, if you go to user and you want to add a, an account to the user here, you create an account. I'm asking for the characters here. Right. So here I'm asking you, you must have a capital letter at least one, okay? Six character minimum. That easy. A capital letter. How you can do that, right? A number, how you can do that? And a special character, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or something else. So how do I do that, right? So, and I'm, I'm using this, but we are a little bit off topic, but you know, we, we can uh, we can do that. But another day, you know, you can open this, this file and see how I'm doing it because it's uh, uh, obviously, obviously it's, uh, okay. Yeah, when I close this, it's nightmare because I'm not, that, yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. That's fine. Don't worry about it. I, I, we're off in the weeds, but I thought I would point this out because yeah. Clash, is, Clash is working on their certification test again, yeah. and you're going to have to know a couple basic assumptions, right, yeah. on that. So. So, so you so you understand what left word is now, you know? So left word. So you understand what right word is going to do, uh, which, is, you know, a right, right word. Right word is doing this. So it's going the opposite, Okay. So the right word is doing this, right? Uh, it's taking the two last from the from the right, right? Okay. And the middle and the middle, you you get you guessed what the middle is doing too. Uh, middle words, okay? It's doing this. Uh, so you need a start position 
So let's say I'm starting to the position a number or to the position number two, and I want two words or three words. Can we confirm? Can we confirm a period is not a word? A period is not a word or is a word? Put oh, it. period. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Period. You know, it is. Uh, well, no, no, no. It'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it is, is, is it's a, yeah. Is a period a word or not a word? It is a word. Is a separator. Yeah, it, it, no, no, it's a separator. Yeah. So period is a separator. Comma is a separator. Yeah. What else? Uh, option space or shift space is a uh, a separator. Option what, space, no. We said you know it's okay. not. Yeah. But but shift space is yes. Okay. Yeah. So. So you understand what middle word? Okay, so middle always start from the left too. You know, uh, you, you don't have right middle. You know what I mean? You have left, you are right, but middle is a sub is it's a subsequent of left because the middle will start from the left and and start from here, for example, to here. See, from two, from the word number two, one and two. So middle doesn't count the word after. He start the word after the the second, right? And this in take the one here. So that's why you see, you can you can try yourself here. You type a sentence here in the in the in the in the in the in the data viewer, and you can stop this. So here, so far, so good. Uh, now, wait, 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 wait. I have a question. So yeah. it says middle words. So we're starting at word two, and we're going three mm -hmm. words. But word two is is. Yes, but it doesn't include it. Why? Because this is how it works. It doesn't include the word, so this is that's why some sometimes a little bit tricky. It doesn't include the second word. It starts from after the second. When the left character doesn't do that, that that's the problem. You know, if you say the left words, the left words, if you start from here, if you you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's and at the you know, it said one, two, three, and four. Are you sure that's not like a shift space or something there between the today and the oh, is? Yeah, 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 here. One, two, three. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe you're right. Uh, I'm, I'm really. I don't remember this ever being this screwed up. So hang on here. Uh, so you're, so was, you're, 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 you're two, two and three. three. Yeah, we had Very a. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry, everyone. Okay, I'm gonna quit panicking now because I'm like. No, no, oh, no it's not. Oh it's my bad, God, bad. I've forgotten everything I know about FileMaker. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. You, no, you, me, me, I was surprised myself by this. Uh, so, it's, it's uh, my fault for throwing it in. My po only yeah. point was is that you got to know what a word what a word is considered and what and so period and a comma are not a word, and uh, or a separator. Uh, they are words. They are well, no, they're 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 they are considered not a separator, right? At, but everything is a separator, in my opinion. Uh, everything is, you know, uh, but not a letter. Letter is not a separator, but everything else is a separator. The number is not, but everything else it is, but the, this option space that is option not. space is not it. So I don't want to. Okay. Okay. So uh, okay, but but anyway, you know, to be honest with you, the middle word, the right word, those word stuff. Uh, the last one, the last time I used that, it was like twenty five years ago. Uh, I'm you know, uh, never came to me to live, but it can it can, it can be it can be you know. Uh, so I, I use that one a lot. Uh, I, those never. Uh, but okay. Now uh, hang on, hang on. Before you get away, we, we have an interesting conversation here. Uh, let's go back. Uh, this I've read the. I haven't sprung this on Nick yet. I know. I know a little bit more about this in this case than he does. Unfortunately, I know that the danger that lies under the water. It's like we see the pool and there's five sharks under the water, right? So uh, go ahead and put a period back in there for us again, Nick. On, on right there. We're just going to play with this for just for a minute. So a period in this case is uh, second word is is and it's so uh, oh, yeah hold on hold on let me put left word. Why don't you do here. left again? Because 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 a couple people submitted a couple moments and it's it's yeah or or yeah left words. So we want the starting at the second word, okay? Or we just want okay. we want the two left words, okay? Two left words. Yeah. So 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 the period is a space now. Uh, where did uh, Ellen go? Is she off the screen already? Oh, no. She says not to argue, but Mr. Period Sam is not. E uh, yeah. So that's what we're seeing. A period is not a, se a period is not a separator, right? That's what we're saying here. Yeah. It's not a separator. What about a comma? Comma. Do the comma for me real quick. 
comma is a separator period yeah. is not a separator okay i gotta write this down because i gotta take that stupid test like next week again and i yeah. gotta i'm gonna forget this shit between here and there i'm gonna go find an ink pen uh and then uh someone said uh Nick, uh, TK says, Nick, start a word with a number and then add a dash. Like one. Look, take a look at his comment. Yeah. Or a. Dash is a separator. Yeah, dash is a separator. So the period is not a separator. Yeah, very frustrating. And because it, sometimes it's a little bit. Yeah, take a. Uh, Take a look at his comment there in Discord. We're looking at a couple comments there. So he's got uh, one dash, two, and then the word three. This is the kind of crap that they put on the test. I, I really wish they wouldn't quite get so weedy with it because there's a lot of little obscure words that go onto it. So there's so, the so first. This is one. This is one word, and this is not another word. So that's two. Yeah. Yep. 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 So dash is uh, not a separator. Period is not a separator. Uh, yeah, but this is heavy a little bit too because dash is not a separator between. But he, if I, but between, look between our uh, uh, here, it is not. It is. A it separator. is a separator. So between yeah, two numbers, true. it's not a separator. It's see, not a separator. See, see, that's that's the problem. If you if you actually, this is the part I was going to tell everyone. It, the 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 help documentation says generally periods and dashes do these certain things but not under all situations and then that's the end of the help it doesn't give you all the rules i think the rules are very um i don't want to say extraordinary but if you look at the way it counts as words it's it leaves it kind of hanging um it was a you could tell that the engineers didn't want to write the three pages of text to explain it i don't know nick if you could find that that's interesting but it's it's always been frustrating um it says what is a word and not always it's not on this one but it's like down at the bottom what constitutes a space in words um try uh, i don't know middle try middle words i don't know see if there's text functions see if there's middle words i don't know it was it was one of those things that they have this page of text out at the bottom that says oh by yeah. the way it's uh, yeah you, you, and you know why is because this has been uh vandalized and uh, uh, uh what's the name uh tempered these functions they come from when they say 6.0 and earlier or earlier that means they don't want to, to tell that that comes from 1.0 because that always that function here was there since the beginning of FireMaker. Yeah. FireMaker Pro 1.0 has this. So um, so um, so since then this has been tempered and uh, stained by requests to conveniently help people and stuff like that. Right? People were complaining and maybe the you know but in the history of this maybe a, a, a team at farmaker they say okay let's grant that to the to the developer and then he got stained you know i call that oh, stain because yeah. no go down to word count at the bottom maybe it's a word count because word count is an interesting one go down there <clears throat> okay here we go here we go in addition to space tab enter character and the character such as equals represent so on identify the beginning of a new word yeah see th see this is one of those kind of like loose sentences it says yeah yeah but your ra what were we going to say? Your ravioli is going to be emul emulsified or whatever the hell? E ebullition. Yeah, yeah. This is a ravioli a sentence right here. So, yeah. Uh, yeah but, you know, and just say, go, go outside to, you know, knowledge base. Go to what the people say about that. Oh, click on it. Just, does it go anywhere specifically or does it just say good luck? Oh, it went to filemaker.com. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so much. For yeah, that. it goes it goes uh, where you know somewhere. It goes Google.com. Uh, do it yourself. <laughs> okay, oh, here, so. we, here we go. Here we go. There's a word separator thing here. Recognize where? Where'd you get this from? Is this the knowledge base? Yeah, it's the knowledge base. Yeah. Uh... No, in, that wasn't the help. I, I went to the help. Okay, that wasn't the help. Okay, so it's just uh, so 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 TK has a question here. Copy and paste that and put that in there. That's a good one. Then we'll, then we'll leave it. Put the question in there for. Uh, before you uh, post the answer, Nick, TK's yeah. got to guess how many words are. Okay, once again, stand by to censor out Kyle because Kyle probably already has the answer. I would say, looking at it, one, two, one, two, three. I would say three words for me on that one. That's my guess. Nick, you want to take a look at that one? 
Who uh, can guess how many words that is? To me, it's one. Can you give me a copy and paste? This is this uh, for those of you missing this conversation. Here, two, to I'm going to paste two. this over here uh, <clears throat> in the uh, Discord and the uh, YouTube as well. It could be two words, but uh, okay. Well, Ed says it's for lobster. Okay, net net lobster. Ellen, is that the answer? Answer? That's your guess. <clears throat> Oh, Ellen says guessing two. I guessed uh, three. Ed, is that your guess? or Just put it in there, Nick. Just put, paste it in there and see what happens. Uh, uh, quotes. I guess three. No, Shit, I was two. like two. Two. Okay, so oh, wow. before we get into it, where are they? So that is one space there. But you're yeah. saying that that, that that right there is in separator? It's not a separator? No, it's not. Because we said the period is not. A period is not. And then so, and the apperson doesn't count as a word yeah, at all yeah, it does. actually it does but those two those okay. but i don't know what that is could be an unsickable um you know unbreakable space or you know unsickable place because that, the, the real word is unsickable well wow. uh, by the way uh, richard we will have to make another uh, a session part two on this why because it's because it's 140 we are discussing about left words since 15 minutes oh i'm sorry and but I, but but, but i, I but I, I, well no, I, you, you did yeah i'm telling you but the reason is i take the test and i'm sitting there staring at and they will say how many words and they'll boo something like that bilbo baggins crap that was just thrown up there how many words and then they'll say Here's a script. It's going and cycling three times, and then it's got a script parameter. And yeah. the script parameter will exit if there's only two words. How many beeps will there be? And you're like going in circles, writing the code in your head, and going beep, beep, beep. It's uh, I, I'm sorry, everyone, but I, I it's, it's an important learning moment if you want to take the test. No, no you, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, that's why I, I, I didn't say anything. We can continue. I, I, I like it. But that we need maybe uh, you know we need to push a little bit the thing for tomorrow and make us part two because okay to, okay to well, well well we'll bring you back for part part two then tomorrow we'll dive into the interrogate we're going to interrogate the new guy yeah. we're going to do it nicely without uh, electric voltage yeah. right because those two don't, okay the right word left word as I said I, I don't even remember last time I used that it's uh, it's uh, okay if you're not in the editing world or you know you need to be in the in the edition of books and stuff like that to be to have the to have the the necessity of this uh otherwise i don't see why you need to know how many words there. okay so who are the okay so what is okay now once again not kyle because he probably knows this too what is the air air speed velocity of an unladen swallow <clears throat> and that's a reference to what someone It's the uh, Monty Python, right? Yeah. So, Ad <laughs> adult or European juvenile African, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's a Monty Python reference, right? And then if you don't answer it correctly, you just fly away into space and explode. So yeah, Monty Python. Very good. From uh, uh, Ellen gets a gold star for funny. All right. So Nick, you make. I'm gonna mute myself so I don't bother. <laughs> That's okay. No, because the most in the most interested um, the the thing that you will use. Maybe when you learn to use that, you will use that every single day and everywhere, or uh, you know, like like I'm like like I'm using the list function here, because they are all they all tied together. The lists, uh, you know, all those what we are going to talk like like that. The left value, you know, the the what's the name, the um, the middle values, you know, everything that has values. Um, you know, we can even do this. Everything that has a value, a get value, left, middle, right, salt, unique, value count, all of those, all of those values, okay? Those are really, really important. Yeah, you need uh, to memorize those too as well. So Sorry? Yeah, memorize these for your test. Memorize, memorize. Okay. Yeah. So those are the, the most important function of dealing with text in FarMaker by far. You know, by far, 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 because even though somebody, some of you guys like the JSON stuff, even when you use the JSON stuff, you you need to use some of those uh, in the JSON. Okay, so um, because JSON, all the JSON function doesn't have all what this is doing. Okay, but we are not talking about all of those. We are going to talk about 
uh, the, the left, middle, and right value, okay? So let's say now uh, how the left value, so what the left value is, and that's what I'm saying, this is hairy stuff. Hairy stuff because there's nothing, uh, if I do this, um, uh, X ref one, if I do this, there's nothing left and right here. You know, this is, it is because the values. What is a value? Let's let's start. Let's start with the beginning. What's the value? The value is anything between with a carriage return. Okay. So this is the value. Nick, carriage return, Rick. Okay. So this is a. There's two values here. I have a question. I have a very important question that I forgot. What is character number five there from left? Character five from the left. What, this? Yes, do that. Carry return, this one. So you don't see it, but it counts as a, if you do a left command and you do, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you do a middle, do a, well, you do a no, middle. I middle. Do left. I can, actually, I can do this because do, uh, I can do a left here. Yeah, but I want to. Uh, you want to see if it counts, right? I want to see if it counts because it's invisible, but it's still kind of there, right? Yeah, it, it is. It is counted. I mean, okay. The one, two, three, four, five, six. It is counted. I was going to go there. Anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Do, do middle real quick for me, just for fun. So this is this is the part that throws me off. So put middle in there, and then just have it grab uh, the tag, start at five, and give me one. And what one one. It, it, get, uh, it gets you the coverage return. Right. And, and if you go down there, that's what that line is. Got it. Okay. So it does exist. That's the other yeah. thing is counting this stuff up on the test. It's important. So, yeah. yep, it, yep. It, it exists here and it will exist here too because normally I don't do this. I never do that. You know me. Yeah. You know, I use this here, but it still exists because this, the list, Rick Nick, like this, is doing exactly the same results. But the carriage return is a character. It exists. Okay, good the carriage return always in Farmaker, This is the, then the, that closed the chapter of the carriage return. It <laughs> always exists. Okay, the, ca the, the, the chapter is, is closed, sorry. Yeah, like, that means if I do a uh, length, that means it's the, the how many characters do I have here? Length, I never know how to. Okay, it's nine. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, plus one. Right, that easy. Four, four, and one here. The, and the, the length injects the one in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, so the carriage return always exists, and it's important for my demonstration. Okay. It's very important that the carriage return exists. So now we know this is a value. So if I said now, if I say value count on this, I have two values, because it's separated with a carriage return. So if I do this. Or what I've done, what I was doing before, you know, with this uh, here, doing this. Uh, no, I don't need this. This, this. Okay. If I do this, it's it say two. It's two values. This and this, two values because it's separated with a carriage return. If I had another one, I had this and Scott. I have three values now. Okay. So it is important to know. So, but, but the problem is this. Like, let's take. Uh, back where we were at the beginning. Uh, is this, why they call left value and, and right value since uh, we, it's vertical. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, if I want the list of this uh, full name, it's vertical. It's not right and left, right? It's not right and left. But you need to, um, you know, you need to imagine that flat. You need to imagine that uh, with carriage return, like like I did this one, remember? When I did this one here, Nick and Rick and, uh, you know, Scott and Luke and whatever, you know? So when you have this, okay, this is, no, we don't need to list here. This is this, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a value, but see here, you need to represent yourself this in your head when you see this you need to represent yourself with this so now now the left value makes sense 
okay? The left value makes sense. I want the left value, I want the first, that Nick. I want the second, that Nick and Rick. Okay, hold on. Okay. And I want three, you know, I want four. So that makes sense because it's flat. But when you see this like this, it doesn't make very sense. It should be it should be named top value, bottom value, right? Instead of left value. But the engineer that invented that, he said, okay, we have left, left words, let's call that less value. Because this came much after that the left. Left came in 6.0 and the other, uh, the, the left came in 1.0 and the left value came in the four or five. <coughs> So the, the engineer that said, okay, let's co let's continue the left stuff. Left, left word, left word, left value. Okay. But left, the value is more interesting because now uh, with this value stuff, I can play more with this. Okay. And I'm going to give you a demonstration how the left value is interesting. So you, you guessed it. The, the right value will do exactly the opposite. It will take like let's say I want the right value I want one the first value on the right that whatever you know on the on the left on the, uh, two values is look and whatever okay he, he start from here he, he goes you know he goes like this but always as you notice here he doesn't put whatever in first he doesn't say one and two no he takes the two right value and he start with the left one. See how it does? It doesn't say, okay, it doesn't say whatever and look here. It doesn't say one and two. No, he said, I have two, and this is the first of the two. You know what I mean? You see, right? It, it always reads left or right, no matter what. Yeah, always, always. Oh, well, okay? for English. United yeah, and the middle, in Arabic, are also, and that was, drive them nuts over there and you know you know that i, I worked in Arabi, uh, in saudi arabia for many years and i know what i know what i'm talking about so um so and um because we need we uh, i had to back in the day uh, they you know they have a special version for arabic right so it's um uh what's the name of this of this of this company that is doing uh they're making those Hebrew, uh, farmaker Hebrew, farmaker arabic arab uh, farmaker cyrillic Oh, oh, that's a Winsoft. They make the Winsoft. Uh, okay. yeah, Winsoft. Win, win. Yeah, yeah. So for those of you who don't understand, so FileMaker makes like seven or eight languages pro approximately. Uh, it's all I don't want to say the most common languages because if you're you know Russian, then you're pissed off when I say that. But let's just say that FileMaker is selected to support seven or eight languages that they want to support. Uh, if you want support for other languages like Hebrew and Russian and Czech and things like that, then you go to a company called Winsoft. They will resell you FileMaker licenses with this special version that's designed to be farsi or whatever right so yeah, yeah. and they, yeah they they they, they do that they, they take care of those middle values and stuff like that to accommodate the language uh, mm. okay so yeah, yeah. Yep. so but you you guess the middle what the middle value will do it will do this from the second i want free value one two and three okay so it's uh it's uh, you know what so middle middle word middle value they do exactly the same thing okay uh left 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 word left value right word right right word what right wide value they do exactly the same thing right but with different separations okay and the value is more important because with farmaker farmaker returns a record as a value so that's what i wanted to do this you know if i do uh, a left value uh, if I do left value, left value on a, on a, a list, for example, list of xref1 contacts, which is our full name, and I want the the, the, the the free first. So what this does, see here, I have a list of people here, Garth, Niru, and Uriel. Okay, Garth Klein, Niru Bowen, and Euro Acosta. That's the free first, right? And and if I want more, if I want less, for example, oh, I want the two first. So the 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 list of this will return records. That's why it's more important than words. Now that you know how to play with this, you know, like for example, I, I can do the value count also. Let's say, you know. I want the value count. I can do value count here, and on the list of this, 
and this what will return value count on list of uh, oh, uh, value count doesn't need the list so yeah this is another okay so i have value count yeah i need the list why you said that okay so value count on the list of this i have five right see the value count on this now you have a, to count values you have another way to do this is counts and count doesn't need to the value but that's another story okay but you understand now why this is important you know the 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 left the value middle value and stuff like that so so it's because you can you can um, get records and play with the records uh, that that you return and i want to show you some things too so why i'm using the value um so much is because if you can extract value like this okay let's say i want to extract the middle values you know i want to extract the middle values so i need uh i need okay so i have this euro acosta and timothy uh, ensley you know euro acosta and timothy that the two from the third i have two so let's see from the third i have two euro and timothy that works right if i say from the second i want two he said from Nehru to URL. So that works. Yep. Now, I have extracted those two. Now, I want the left. I want the left value of this. And I want the first. It's, it's Nehru born. That the first of, the, of what the middle value returned. I extract those two. And now I want the first of those two, which is Nehru. If I say I want the second one, it's uh, if I want this, if I want two two values, okay, I have those two. So you see, you can play with um, value left value inside. So now you can even say I want the get value, which is very important too. What the get value is doing? So the get value, let's say I have get value, okay, and the middle value we know the middle value returned to me. Uh, return to me this. So let me see why it doesn't work. Uh, maybe because I have yeah. Okay. So the middle, the middle word, the middle. This here returns Nero and URL. And now I said this. The get what the get value is doing. I getting the number of the value in the list that I want. So let's see how this works. Let's remove this and make something simpler. I want the list of this. Okay, and I want full name, and I want the I want the first get value of this list. The first is Goth. I want the third one. This is your Acosta. I want the I want the fourth one. This is Timothy. You know, so one, two, three, four. So now, if I want, I say, okay, no, 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 no. I want to extract two of them, and I want the number one of the two. Okay. Sometimes it can be helpful to do that, right? So let me show you a typical application of why I'm doing this, okay? Why I'm playing with, uh, with get value. I have many, many, many examples, but I'm going, to play, I'm going to play with two examples only, if I have time, I don't know. Maybe we can uh, spill a little bit, 10 minutes over. Yeah, we can go another 10 minutes. And we'll go another 10 minutes and yeah. then... Uh, yeah, so that means... Do, a do, and little time yeah. tomorrow too, if we need to, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... Why I'm using this? Okay. Most of the time, um, you know, you want to do some, some, some stuff smart, for example. And the first thing I use a lot, you know, to use a lot uh, is this, for example. I have, a, I have a custom function. I'm showing you the custom function. And then we are going to dissect the custom function. I want the value position. Let's say, for example, I have my list of people, okay? I have full name. I have my list of people. And I want the value of you are uh, how we how we we call this i want the value of uriel i want to know where uriel is okay sorry why is no oh uh yeah no it's a uh, last name sorry it's last name last uh it's first sorry first is is a first name okay so why it doesn't work get position 
Maybe I don't need this. Uriel. 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 Why it doesn't work? <laughs> get, X-ray one. Get value position. Yeah, no, no, no. This is my focus on fun. It should return. It should return the... It should return. It was working two minutes ago. Okay, it doesn't lack Euro. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, it's it's the list of this. I don't understand why it does not work. Okay, so I don't understand. Uh, well, this is where we gracefully say we'll fix it and bring it back tomorrow at uh, you know here at one o'clock no, uh, at live understand. training. You yeah, did left value of the standby, standby. Yeah. I'm putting snow on screen for you. There's a yeah. malfunction. Yeah, I, uh, I use this all the time, and now it doesn't work. Get value, position. No one can hear you. Stuff. No one can oh, hear you. Sorry, 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 it's my fault. My fault. Okay. My fault. Well, we're yeah, not we're not fault. looking at your screen right now. I've I've censored you. Would you like okay, to be? Okay, no, you can answer, answer, and un uncensor. Can I can uncensor you? Yeah, you can. Okay, stand by. Going back to Nick. Uh, first. Okay, so. The get position, I want to find Uriel in this list, is in the third position. Okay? So let's see if it's true. Okay? If it is Uriel on the number third position, yes. Now I want Timothy. So I want Timothy, I want Tim, is number four. Timothy is number four. Nehru is number two, right? So N E H, number two. So I want to know by the name or by the ID or by whatever, I want to know where the position in the list where it is. In the number four, in number three. So I have a get I have a custom function that do that, but let's dissect the custom function. Um, and the custom function is this. So let's copy this and let's use it as not a custom function. So I want this, the search screen, I want URL. That I'm going to search. And the text is the list of all the names I have attached to this account. Okay? First. So, now I said, so this is what I get. I say, okay, search for this inside this. Okay? And then it gets me the position. I'm using the, another function that called position. Okay? Position is very interesting uh, thing because it's going in a text, it's going to search the value start from somewhere and then count how many, how many occurrence is there, you know? So you, you, you put where, okay, I'm not going to explain position now, but this function here returns exactly where the character, where Uriel is positioned in the text. So let's say Uriel in my, in my list here is in the position number 13. So let's control this assumption. This is my text. And the, this function here returned that URL is in position number 14. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember the car return? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Remember the car return? 13. So URL is in the position number 14. It starts the position where you, the word URL starts. He start at the position number fourteen, and that that right, that so that's a, that assumption is correct. Now I say I have the left. I'm using the left of the characters. I want to extract all the characters from the zero to the number thirteen. So I have thirteen characters left. Okay. So now I know that Uriel is starting in position thirteen. I'm using the left function to extract from the text until the position 13. And now, now I have this that says free. Why free? One position here. Okay. I have, how many carriage returns do I have here? One, two, and then is in position number three. Because I have two carriage returns here, you know? The, the value count here, I have the value count, count me in the value, count me, uh, the return of this, count me free. There's three values here. There's three values returned. There's three sentences 
separated with coverage returns. Okay. So I'm using the left. So first of all, I say, okay, I want this into this. And the position, the position is giving me exactly where this start. The left function, I'm extracting the, the I'm extracting from the beginning exactly the number of characters. And then I'm counting how many recovery return I have in between <clears throat> the, the position zero and 13. And then I know you were your is in position uh, a number a number number three. Okay. So you say, Nick, why why are you using this? You know why you know uh, why are you using this technique? Why why are you okay? Let's say now. I want to send a, uh, a script parameters to a script. I have a script, and I want to send script parameters. In the scripts, in the scripts, I have this. I want this, this, and this. Okay, I want those three IDs: the ID account, the ID department, and the ID user. I want those three IDs. My, my the script I'm going to launch needs that information because they need to create records and they need to create related records or whatever you, whatever, name it, you know. Then I want the list of all the IDs of the contacts that are attached to this account. And this here is unpredictable. Those three are predictable. Always you will have one of those, okay. This is predictable. This is static. It's one, two, and three. But here, this one, is not predictable. Can be one, can be two, can be ten, can be two thousand. We never know. Okay. So when you send this, see here, I have here I have five people, right? So if I click here, I have one, two, three. So remember those one, two, three ID account, ID department, ID users, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, which is my five. That that my five, um, um, what's the name? Contacts. The list. So. But here, I have much more people here. Uh, I have a, maybe I don't remember where I have more. But here I have more, but I can add more anyway. Let's add more people here, you know. Okay, so I have much more people now. So here, my list now is much bigger than before, okay. I still have my free here, D88835, D88835. I still have my free. But from the but from the fourth to the end, I have much more people than here, correct? So now, I want to play with this and I want to extract this. You know, I want to play. So let's play. I have here my parameter. You know, script parameter. So I have my people here. I have my free, okay, and I have my um, what's the name? My contacts. Those are my contacts. Okay. If I go to another record here with much more people, here you can see, I have my free. Uh, which one is the one with more people? Yeah, this one. Okay. So I need to play with this. So I have my free, and I have much more people now. Okay. So I want to play with this, and I say, okay, you know what? I want the list from that list. I want to extract. I want to ignore those three, those three people, those three here. I don't want them. Those are for something else. Okay. So I want only those. So I'm using here the middle values. And I said from that text here, please extract from the number four. And I want infinity of values okay so uh, everything after the four right I want it you know instead of if you want to extract the first three let's say this is one this is to extract this okay let's say this okay now I want the first three I'm using the left value always this and I want the first three so now I have the free, this, and I have those from the fourth to nine 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 nine. Okay, infinity. So now you can play with this. You can extract and play. So now 
before we start with the question, because I'm almost done, so maybe we can we can adjust, um, you know, finish today. I want to show you something more advanced. Okay, so uh, so now you understand what you can do with the left value, the middle value. You can you have a list, you can extract. So now I want to combine something. I want here. I want to send. Let's say I have a let's say I have a list of contact here. And the, in the list, let's say I decided that the manager, I decided that the manager, from that list, the manager is Nichols, not the manager. This is the list of people here. If I go there, this list smaller, OK? I have the list of this. So uh, I say Hensley, for example, Hensley is a manager. And I want a script parameter, OK? To say, okay, hey, you know what? I want, I want to send the ID, the ID of the manager from that list because I selected the name. Okay. So what I want to do here, the three parameter, I want, so I, I want those three, right? And then what I want, I want this. What, I want those three, A7, 3, 2, 27, A7, 20, 32, 27, and then I have 2, 4, C5. 2, 4, C5. Oh, Ensley, here we go. 2, 4, C5. C5. So now I change it. I want Klein to be the manager. Okay. So I send the parameter. Oh, it changed it. Oh, cool. It's Klein now. 3, A, 3883, 3883. Eight, eight, so how you do that? You know, how you do that normally? How you want to do that? Oh, it's a complicated thing. Of course, you have a who you know immediately jumping on execute SQL, you know, and uh, and start of complicated things and super complicated things and stuff like that. So, so now it's very easy. It's very easy. How I'm extracting this guy from here? from the list, like this. No SQL, no relationship, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. What I'm doing, I'm using my custom function that we just dissect. I want to search whoever is into their, uh, their, um, their filter, how, how I call that name, that, that file. Sorry, how I call this. Um, oh. Sorry, no sample. Oh, filter contact name. Okay. So, what I want, what I've done here is very simple. I say I want the get value position of whatever filter, G filter name. Why well, don't have it? Uh, filter name, contact name. Okay. Well, okay. Whatever this one and the text, right, is the list. Is the list of my xref kind of people here, and the ID account context. So get value whatever inside this in the list of ID IDF contact. Uh, no, the sorry, the it's not it's not IDF contact. It's the the name. Sorry, the last name. Whatever's the last name here. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is when you don't rehearse too much uh, last name. Okay, so it's the number one. So now with that, with my get value position, I search whatever I put in that field into the list of all the last name and in this here, and I get whatever I want. See, look this here, number one, right? This is number four. And then is number four, two. This one is number park is number five. One to yeah, park the the last one. So you get the number. The position here. So now that you get this, now that you have the position of this, you can say get value, okay, of whatever this and the value, uh, whatever the list you want, xref1, contact, and you want the ID, you want the ID of this, and then you say whatever the value return from this. That exactly, that, that is extremely, extremely easy to do, okay? So, and 
you have an explanation. It's very. I'm short on time, so that's why you know we we, we spend too much on the word stuff. But um, there, I mean, it was interesting. But uh, this one is so you can here. I'm dissecting exactly what you do. Okay, uh, all of this could be avoid avoided by the custom function. You know, you don't need that. I, I did it on, pur on purpose to expose everything. But you have the custom function get value position value that you you don't need that. Okay. But that to so that to show you the power of the middle value, the left and right value stuff. All right. So that's it for uh, today on this one a little bit. Appreciate Nick on all the hard work. Once again, if you're interested in knowing what the upcoming broadcast schedule is looking like, you can uh, actually come over here to the uh, to the uh, fmtraining.tv website uh, and press the uh, left button over here, the tab. You can see the upcoming schedule tomorrow. I don't know if Nick is going to be around or not for that, maybe a little bit, but mostly it's going to be we're going to be – maybe I can have Nick come in. We can help interrogate the young guy and just, like, well, make him – he, he can... If you want me to come tomorrow to uh, answer the question based on what we did today, I can come over. So, yeah, that'll be pretty good. Uh, Moki has a question. Do you use while in your custom functions to find a position? I, I used to do that. I don't need any more. Uh, because there, my get this this function here, this custom function here, re replace everything. Uh, you know, uh, I found a way uh, to make to make it very small and simpler to get the position instead of the the wild the wild stuff. You know. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for today. We'll set you tomorrow. Fix you. Bye. More importantly, great job up front protecting this quarterback to give you a chance. And that's all you can ask for. Try to rally down 10. 9.25 to go here in the fourth. Short motion by Amendola from the left. Brady takes the shot. Step. Stands in, throws it left for Amendola. Reaches up and snaps a high throw and lands inside the 10. Rolling to the 9. Oh. Slightly behind him, but Danny makes the grab.